Hey YouTube, what's going on? Gonna get ready to uh, do some crappie fishing with live bait. Uh, today we're gonna take some live bait with us. Uh, I got a special tool I want to show you guys how to use and how to make it. And if, if you're a beginner crappie fisherman, there's gonna be some tips in here for you. So come along. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, hey, grab some popcorn and uh, a notepad and and you'll be Basically, you're gonna have a swivel on the end here for your hook. And then all here, this is where you're gonna tie your line. You're gonna have a swivel there. So, brush buster. So these are the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a drill, hammer. Uh, you're gonna need some welding rods or whatever rod you choose and something to cut with. You can use a hacksaw replacement of this but you got to have a hammer and you have to have a drill you're gonna place it on on the hard surface and just pound it with the hammer Push money in and then you, you basically smash the other end. you just want to get it a little flat so you, you're just making it flat enough so you can drill a hole go through not a hundred percent required but uh, a center punch would help. Okay, let's drill a hole through it. You don't have to have this, but this will make it a little easier. What you could do is just trim this up a little bit. And just You don't want this too wide around the hole. Trim it up. And you'll see why when you go to put your swivel on there. So after you trim that up, then hit it with the grinder. I think you can find these already open. I don't know for sure, but, uh, but the one I have here, I'm gonna open it. That's what I'm gonna use this little screwdriver for, or this little flathead screwdriver for, just to open it, open the back end up. So after you get it open, push it out of the way, slide it up here, slide it up out of your way, take that piece off, you don't need it anymore, thread it on, like so, run this back down. So yeah, 
your opposite end there. Uh, you put your swivel on here, and then you lock it, it in, and then you tie your line here. And you, now, not only when the fish when the fish hits your your minnow and he starts to try to run this way or that way, then this rod won't let him, and you'll you'll be able to pull him straight up. But the, the second benefit is, say you miss him and you set the hook and you set the hook in, in the brush, you'll be able to thump. That, that hook is set in the brush, you'll be able to drop it down and, and do this right here and thump that hook or loose from that brush. You just go up and down, up and down, and then eventually it'll it'll come out and then you can pull it up so i'm at the bait store and they got live bait uh, they got uh chips and sodas and uh lunch meat so you can pick up you some lunch good morning i'm really friendly here too Hey guys, so I've been thinking about making this video for, for beginner crappie fishing. So what I was thinking was, is that, you know, you guys would use minnows. If, you, if you're just getting started in crappie fishing, then the best bait for you to be using is minnows. Now, if you just want to jump to jigs, then yeah, come on. But just in case you don't, and you want to use minnows, I'm making this video for you guys and uh, so get your notepad out and get ready to take notes because it's going to have this thing is going to this video is going to be packed full of information here we go let's do it so you should be looking for structure uh, above the water just in case you don't have a fish finder so we're going to concentrate uh, on structure above the water so as you can see this tree is laying down in the water you can see the whole entire tree okay uh, but we're going to concentrate on these limbs right here it's the fish more likely this time of year so it's fall late fall or early winter and they're hiding they're hiding from predators so they're gonna get tight into this brush. And a lot of times they won't come on the parameter of the brush. You gotta go right in the middle of it. So we're gonna get right down in the middle of this brush and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. All right, so falling trees into the water is the structure that you wanna look for, okay? And like in a creek, you're gonna see this everywhere sometimes you're only going to see the butt end of the tree that's all you're going to see you're not going to see the whole tree like this one is so obvious but a lot of times the only thing you're going to see is the root ball or the root ball is going to be under the water and the only thing you're going to see is the top of the tree and the top of the tree is the business uses the business end okay Here's my setup here at the beginning of the video. I talk about how I made this, this what I call a brush buster. So, uh, this ain't, this is not nothing new. I mean, it's been around for a long time. So let's get started. And uh, I like to hook my minnow through the bottom of his lip up through the top of his nose. And the reason why I do it like that is because I feel like I get more action from the minnow and uh, I feel like the crappie hits, will hit the 
Minnow's head first, opposed to his tail or his back. So he's on there, and, and he can flip around and everything, and he'll stay alive like that. Just don't, just don't stab it through his brain. Okay, let's go off in here and see what happens. So without this brush buster, you still be trying to get that fish out of there. All right, here we go. That's our first keeper with a minnow. And don't do this with a barber because the barber, he's gonna be able to, uh, your reaction time is gonna be slower. So we're in about 14 feet of water and they're, they're hanging on tight to this brush. I mean, we typically you work the outside, try to catch the fish, all the fish on the outside, and then then you go in the middle i went straight in the middle because i already know that these fish are not going to come out of there only way they're going to come out of there is with that hook in their mouth Brush buster. Okay, when you see a spot like this and you got one of these brush busters, I mean, you're gonna have to spend some time on this because you can plug this thing to death and the fish surely are in this thing. Let's get in here. And yeah, we're just gonna punch, punch right through it. Try to Get that rod standing straight up so it'll punch, punch right through it.
brush buster Nice fish, and I know some of you, uh, some of you mental guys are thinking, man, I just I want to go out and just catch fish, and uh, uh, and then go home and clean them and eat them. Technique number two, I put my weight right on top of the hook because I want to have complete control of the minnow, even though he's going to be able to flop around like so. But when I drop him in that brush. I have more control over him if I gave him, you know, that much line or that much line or even a foot or so. So when you're fishing in heavy brush, put that, your lead shot right above that hook. So this fish caught him on this. So that's how I got it. I got that I got that weight pushed all the way up against that hook. So in this heavy brush, I can have control. fish brush buster we found two structures similar with fish on it so what we're doing is we're moving through the creek and we're looking for the same kind of structure so it looks like up ahead we got some serious heavy structure up ahead and we're gonna fish it but that's what you do. You 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 find a pattern, and you and you follow it. What got us on this pattern is the time of year, opposed to them swimming around and hunting for food. They're tight to the structure, and they're ambushing anything that comes by. And we've been, uh, so we've been plucking places where we've been catching, where we were catching fish earlier, but nothing's been uh, productive. So we're at this spot, uh, kind of like the first spot we fished, tree laying in the water, with a lot of limbs on it. So uh, we're gonna try it, and then, and then we're gonna start working our way back to where we launched at.
Right. Some nice fish. Caught him with that brush buster, man. That rod, it looks just like a tree limb because it's the brush is so thick. I wonder what a hip feels like with this rod. I'm, man, I'm, a, I'm a, on the way out. I'm gonna fish with this jig instead of a minnow. And that's and that's one thing you got to remember when you get into this crappie fishing. If it's a tough day, then uh, you know just keep switching out. You go from bait, live bait. To jigs, live bait, to bait, live bait. You know, just go back and forth, live bait and jigs. Nice fish. Just caught one on this brush buster with a jig on it. One thing I would have tried different is with a bobber, maybe 12 inches deep and uh, with more poles. Yeah, just probably more poles would have been something, you know, a beginner would do to help to improve their catch. It's, you know, having two, three poles in the water at a time. Well guys, here's my catch. Uh, we fish caught all but one on minnows. Uh, I caught one on a, on a jig and I put it on the brush buster. Uh, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, you beginner crappie fishermen, you know, good luck to you. And I hope you get bent.